assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss a new chapter of your course which is human impact on ecosystem in this chapter we will learn about human activities and its long term consequences on ecosystem it may be positive or it may be negative human activities that will pollute air water and a land our exploitation of a natural resources on earth recognize the effect of uh, efforts in improving the environment by human as you know when a human being interact with the environment it may be affect it positively or it negatively as a dynamic equilibrium of an ecosystem is so fragile when ecosystem is disturbed positively or negatively it will disturb in positive way or in negative way so everything in an ecosystem is linked together <clears throat> one organism is linked to another organism and one component of an ecosystem is linked with another component of an ecosystem for example we have a plant plant is linked with uh, environment or atmosphere for its growth and for its food for example it do photosynthesis so it is dependent on uh, atmosphere for carbon dioxide most of the human activities affect environment negatively what are they first of all we are discussing about the pollution the harmful substance that damage the environment that is pollution this is of this is just because of a pollution. burning of a fossil fuel cause of forming a major cause of pollution we have so many uh, first of all is uh, air pollution then we have a uh, land pollution we have a uh, water pollution first of all we are discuss about what is uh, air pollution the pollution that uh, that in the atmosphere around us that it is known as a uh, air pollution <clears throat> air pollution you have experienced in your life about a smoke we have experienced in lahore in past a few uh, past months that we have we experienced smoke that will cause irritation in our eyes or respiratory syndromes are uh, there just because of a haze or in a smoke the pollution pollutant that affect the uh, photo, uh, photosynthesis the pollutant may affect as a photosynthesis as well as the respiratory system of a human being or any animal <clears throat> we are talking about as we are talking about air pollution some air pollutants such sulfur dioxide and oxides of a nitrogen dissolve in the rain from acid rain what are the acid rains when the uh, as, uh, when these are raining the sulfur dioxide oxides of a nitrogen mix with that water from acid rain this acid rain is slightly acidic and its ph is higher than a normal rain how the environment it will it may affect the photosynthesis system of an a plant it may affect the growth of plant it may kill the life of aquatic life that is uh, our, <clears throat> our water bodies how they affect the uh, aquatic life because uh, when the ph or a uh, acidic medium will increase in trees and the fossil fuel are burned causing a effect that is known as greenhouse effect what is greenhouse effect <clears throat> when the amount of a carbon dioxide will increase from its uh, normal limit it will form a blanket of a gases that is known as greenhouse gases this is the blanket that is known as a greenhouse effect so when the sunlight and ener sun energy is came uh, to earth surface that will reflect to the environment but due to the presence of this blanket of a uh, carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases it will unable to reflect back to the atmosphere due to which it is trapped between the surface of earth and this uh, greenhouse gases due to which the temperature of a uh, increase causing a effect that is known as global warming so what is global warming as a result of uh, global warming as a as a result of tapping of the energy of a uh, sunlight and the temperature of earth is the average temperature of earth will increase from its average temperature causing a warming or a